Just a moment. The answer to the trivia question, when did Mario wield a gun in any of his games? Yoshi's Safari is... boring. You play as Mario on Yoshi's back, riding a rail and shooting through a dozen stages with the mandatory super scope. Your goal is to regain 12 gems in order to save King Fret and Prince Pine of Jewelry Land and restore harmony to both worlds. So this is basically Princess Guinevere and the Jewel Riders, but with Mario. What, you didn't know that cartoon existed? Well, you do now! Each level is a long, one-way, non-branching path through a land vaguely themed after notable Mario World locations, with dozens of enemies trying to slow you down before fighting a boss. And speaking of slow you down, let's address the most glaring problem with the game right away. Anytime you shoot an enemy outside of the boss sections, the game lags. It's at this point I should note that despite the weird backstory with characters you've never heard of from a place you've never heard of and the shoddy performance throughout, this game was developed and published by Nintendo. It's not some bootleg pirate knockoff like the SNES Sonic game. Initially, you're restricted to how much you can shoot by a power bar. It drains as you hold the fire button and, when low enough, severely reduces your rate of fire. It quickly gets upgraded though, and beyond that, you're pretty much free to spam shots to your heart's content. Enemies pose little threat, and aside from their appearance and movement patterns, don't differ very much. The main obstacle most of the time, aside from lag, is the back of Yoshi's head. It can get in the way of close-up enemies, and on boss fights it can get in the way when trying to shoot their glaringly obvious weak points, causing Yoshi to look back at you with a what the hell are you doing look, which I'll take over his smarmy smile at the end of each stage. I don't need your sass, Yoshi. This is why I keep shooting you in the back of the head. There's a two-player mode in which one person shoots and the other controls Yoshi, but aside from boss fights, there's not much the person playing Yoshi can do as the game forces you to move forward no matter what. Playing as Yoshi is the equivalent of holding the flashlight while someone else is fixing something. It's bitch work to make someone feel more important than they actually are. I'm so fucking important. I'm so fucking important, right? Fuck you. Challenge is virtually non-existent in this game, which doesn't help its already short length. Enemies and even bosses don't do very much damage, and attacks are easy enough to shoot down well before they're any sort of threat. On my first playthrough, I didn't die at all, and with each stage only lasting anywhere from 2 to 5 minutes each, I was done in under an hour. Even so, Yoshi Safari managed to feel repetitive only a few stages in, and while still a functional game, it doesn't have much lasting appeal. It's a curiosity and little else unless you decide to do something like speedrun it. But who in their right mind would do something like that? What?